Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Adventure Jessica. Today we're going to be playing a game called A Mortician's Tale. Um, it just came out today, which is the 18th of October. I know this isn't going to be uploaded on the 18th of October, but you know, whatever. Just, I got it today because it came out today and I'm super excited to play it. I've been waiting for this one for a while. It's looked really interesting. Um, so you play a mortician who goes through her daily tasks of like dealing with bodies and funerals and all that stuff. Um, I purchased this game for $11.99. It was on Steam sale on its launch day, which is a little strange. Um, but I think normal price is $14.99. Um, and I have played through this once before, but my recording of it totally got weirded out, I guess. I don't know what happened, but it just stopped recording properly. So, here we are! <laughs> um, so, just to let you guys know, this is, um... A game that deals with death and most of it's like old people that I've seen so far but um, one of the last ones I got to was suicide so there is a suicide warning out there it didn't show anything graphic it didn't really give me any details about what happened um, it was just a way that this person died um, so suicide warning and you can choose like you get the option when you select that mission to say I'm okay with suicide stuff or I'm not okay with it I'm not sure how that affects the rest of the gameplay if you'll see suicide things come back up if you say yes I'm okay with that content or if you'll never see anything referenced to that again if you say no I'm not okay with this content um, because when I played it the first time I just had that mission and I had one more mission after it which was an old dude um, so I didn't get too far after that point to see what it affected um, so just warning out there for those of you guys who are struggling out there just know that there are so many resources that you can reach out to if you're struggling with that sort of thing it's never okay and I just want you guys to know since like you know mental health is really important and this game has that in there like please if you are thinking of those options just reach out to somebody reach out to anybody um, just let them know what you're going through because there's gonna be somebody out there who loves you and cares for you and you know they may not be the best at giving advice like I suck at giving advice but I'm a great listener and I'll listen to it whatever you need to say you know just throwing that out there like I'm gonna put the resources down in the description box as well um, because it is a very important topic I feel um, so just know that I love you there you go anyway let's get into this game so here we go September 14th um, so you're just starting this job so you go and check out the old emails and um, there's a lot of stuff in the emails, like there's a welcome from your coworker here. Um, so this guy, I don't know what this guy does in the um, funeral home, but I know there's one other employee, Mike, who does like the makeup for all the open casket services. Um, then you've got Amy, who's the owner here, and she's just welcoming you to this. And then Jen, it looks like Jen is your girlfriend. Um, and there's like a lot of backstory and things like that in these emails. I'm not going to go over all of it because it's a lot of reading. And we're just going to go over like the mechanics of the game. Um, and then there's also these that like talk about funeral home etiquette and things like that. Um, that just have different topics that they talk about. So this one where it has the yellow bar, that is the task that you're to do today and it tells you about the um, person who you are you know either embalming or cremating or things like that um, it tells you about them tells you kind of like this is what their family wants and this is what we expect um, and then you say okay sure thing and you go and do the tasks so it's pretty simple point and click um, a lot of that story is in the emails, so make sure if you love a good backstory, make sure you read those. And then up here we do have the 
what you're supposed to do. So you just grab the sponge and get to work cleaning this lady. So this lady, she's kind of doing a closed casket, all natural dealio. So you're just gonna scrub her body clean, um, just out of respect for the deceased. And now she's good to go because she didn't want to be embalmed or anything since she's having a closed casket funeral. Um, so now after we clean her up and get her out there, we're going to go to her funeral. We are going to go talk to friends, family, loved ones, and pay our respect, and then off to the next person. Um, so these guys will talk about the deceased um, and just kind of their thoughts on them or things like that. So there's, you know, and you don't really get to interact too much with them that I've seen so far. I'm not sure if later on you do get to um, have input into conversations. Um, and there's also like a guest book over here that I've tried in my different ones that I wanted to sign because in that etiquette email, it's like, oh, sign the guest book. That's an etiquette tip, blah, blah, blah. So I tried on a few of the different ones to sign the guest book. But as you can see, when I hover over things I can interact with, they get highlighted in blue. It never did that for the guest book. So I'm not sure if later on that's something that happens, but as far as I've seen, it doesn't. So yeah, you just nod, pay your specs, and then you get out. So it's pretty simple. Um, I skipped through reading all of those people's things, um, but they just talk about like, oh, she was this and this and all that jazz. And like, they talked about her type of burial, how she wanted to go all natural and how they were talking about formaldehyde and how it's like toxic and why would you put that into the thing and blah, blah, blah. So this one is some other old dude who just died of being old um so we're gonna go talk to him or i mean not really talk to him he's dead and we're just gonna we're just gonna wash him there we go well, that was weird um so there are a little bit of odd things that have happened um in my last playthrough the reason it messed up is because i did encounter a glitch um you get to play with the bones at one point and when you go to put them in the crematorium thing where it grinds up the bones and stuff um so this we're just massaging the body to get the blood squishing around like a ketchup packet i guess anyway um but when i was dealing with those bones they i broke it <laughs> Um, so now we're going to do the eye sockets, going to put those in there to like puff them back out and glue them shut so they don't come open and creep anybody out in the service. <laughs> and then just like Marlon Brando, we stuff cotton balls in the mouth and then we sew the mouth together, which is so creepy. And now we'll, you know, lather them up, lotion up this old man. Make sure you get all the dots. Um, and then I like how it goes in order. Like I needed this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then that, then this. This is what I need now. So I like how it puts the tools together. Um, so and then we'll stick that in there. And then we actually go back to the hose. And I'm not sure where you click on for that. There it goes. Um, and then, so we will power up. This is the embalming machine here, um, uh, behind my, behind my head, a little bit. And so you'll massage the body as it does the embalming, and then each one it kind of like squishes the blood out to make room for the embalming fluid, uh, which is kind of creepy and cool. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Do it that way. I think we do it on this side. Yeah. It's gonna get all nice and squishy. Squish all the goo out. Alright. Gross. Um. And I think 
think we've got one more after this. I think it's one. Oh. Ah! And then now he's on. There we go. There we go. He's all embalmed. So we just need the sewing needle again to stitch up the old hole. And then we'll just drain his organs of any remaining fluid so we just click and hold um because if you i found that if you like so it's drained and i let go right at the last second you have to do it all over again which is you know a little, a little strange and so he is out there in the funeral home having his old open casket funeral there he is there's the dude and so we'll just talk to the people in here um came out of nowhere i mean it sort of does doesn't it one minute you're laughing having fun and then like poof you're just you're just gone um yeah it's weird to think about it for too long you know one day we'll all just stop one day we'll all just be dead such is life. Alright, so talk to these people. He wanted to play catch every day with his grandkids. So go talk to this little dude over here. And then, yeah, see, I can't sign the guest book or whatever. But whatever, I'll pay respects to the dude, Mr. Duval. And do my little, my little bow. And then we'll get out of there. So now it's December. And we've got our next victim. There we go. So this one is going to be the cremation. Yeah, so the first cremation. So she passed of breast cancer. It's very unfortunate. Um, so here she is in a coffin in front of this big old machinery. And then we need to prepare her body, so, um, we have to remove the things. So let's start by removing her necklace and place it on the tray. And then, um, we need to put this identification tag in with her so that way we know it's her when we pull her out. And she's gonna get green. Made it. There she goes. Getting getting all hot and stuff. And now she's in this urn, sort of. So this is the cremulator. Contrary to popular belief, cremation doesn't turn bodies into ash so much as bone fragments. Using the cremulator will break these bone fragments down into ash-like remains. Let's start by placing the urn in the cremulator. So we'll just drag and drop it in there. And then, so before, like, these bones kind of like twirl around and stuff. So I was like laying with it and this bone fell over here behind this lid and I couldn't get it out. It was like stuck back there. So I exited out to the main menu. Um, and I tried to go back in, but um, it didn't work. Like she was stuck staring at the emails for that day, or not staring at the emails for the day, but like when you exit out to the main menu and go back in, you start the day over. So I needed to go check the emails to accept my assignment and she was just standing there you know, as much as I clicked on the email thing to go read that, she just didn't. I had to exit the game completely and go back into it. Um, so that was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, she would have hated this music. She never wanted her funeral to be sad. She would have wanted us smiling. She said so. Like, sorry girl, I don't have any control over this. Like you should have planned your funeral better. She fought really hard. All right, there we go. Oh, that's weird how, cause she was highlighted before I started talking and then it's like blue where she is. That's kind of funny. 
All right. These are delicious crab cakes. Mm, I wish I could be there eating those crab cakes. Sounds good. All right, there we go. Paid my respects. And now we're gonna go off to the next person. So Valentine's Day, this person, what did he die of? I don't remember. Probably being old or something. So, um, oh yeah, so on this email she's going out of business and then she's selling the business to some like corporate that takes over the businesses and keeps their names and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is one with a pacemaker. Um, and so he's getting cremated, but because he's got the pacemaker, the battery in the pacemaker will explode if it's like caught on fire. So you have to remove it first, which is so crazy. Um, so we've got to pick up the scalpel and make an incision. Then we use the forceps to yank it out. There we go. Now we get to set this down. We don't have to sew them back up because we're just gonna burn them anyway. There he goes, off to the fiery fire. <laughs> so, I really like the art style in this game. I think it's pretty cool. Um, very simplistic, very muted color palette. Um, that just kind of gives it a sort of, like it sets the tone um, very well, I think. So I mean, this is kind of like a dark game don't want happy bubbly colors um, so the purples and stuff and the like grays they really help to emphasize the tone of what this game is and I think it works pretty well all right so now we're gonna go to the old funeral land here we go and I like how she automatically changes clothes for her next job that she's gonna do but at the same time I wish you could change your clothes, customize your outfits, like have a selection of, oh. Um, there was one where it's like, all right, you're using formaldehyde. Um, you have to make sure you're wearing the right safety equipment. So it'd be really cool if like we could have chosen out what we need for the safety equipment. Um, instead of her just automatically changing into it. All right, let's go talk to this old dude. I always told him to quit smoking. Okay, we're gonna pay our respects. And man, I wish I could have some crab cakes, but we're gonna get out of there. So it is kind of repetitive, um, which I don't mind because a lot of this game is about the story and the emails that you receive. Um, so definitely, like I said already, if you're playing this game, make sure you read through those because, you know, you learn about her having to sell the business, you learn about, um, this is a good email. So this is from her girlfriend, Jen. And so she's like, oh, you hate mushrooms so much. I found the perfect thing for you. I've been thinking about death, like shocker, I know, look what you've done to me. Um, and I think I want this mushroom soup. No. It's not called that, but I can't remember the name of it. And I'm writing you on my phone, so I don't feel like Googling it right now. But anyways, the idea is that it's a biodegradable suit that the deceased wears. It's made with what people call biomix, like mushrooms and other microorganisms that help to decompose bodies, neutralize toxins in the body, and provide nutrients for the soil for the plants. I think this one company even offers casket liners for use in green caskets. I think this is what I want. It'll be just like Hannibal. Wait, don't tell people I said that, okay? But like seriously, it's pretty cool. I love all the death innovation happening. We might as well do something when we're in the ground, you know? But love you. Let me uh, think about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I want to know all of your thoughts. If it's not this then maybe I'll have my ashes made into jewelry. But seriously, I'm probably gonna do this. There's no harm in planning ahead, am I right? Anyway, love Jen, bye, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, things to avoid saying at a funeral. 
So that was the kind of thing that Jen said. This is something that the newsletter says um, that Jen signed you up for this newsletter. So don't say at least they're no longer suffering. Don't say were they safe, like nothing religious. Don't even touch that topic um, because it can, it, like, who knows? I don't know. Um, don't say they're with the angels now because, again, that goes in with the religious dealio um don't say let me know how i can help so you know, that's strange this one is tricky you want to help but those in mourning won't always ask for help if you want to help suggest specific things for example i'm free if you need someone to babysit the kids actions are better than the passive statements cook something for them take them to their favorite restaurant um buy them tickets to see a movie together uh, and never say, I know how you feel. Even if you think you do, everyone grieves differently. That's, this one's really important um, because you never know how someone feels. You don't know their past experiences. So even though you can kind of have a general idea, you never really know how it's affecting them. So don't focus this on yourself as well. Like you don't want to, like that's uh, kind of narcissistic to also say, I know how you feel. Um, because you just don't. So empathy doesn't involve having to commiserate. Sometimes people will want to hear your experiences, but don't assume they will. Ask first. Um, yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. Don't say stuff for the sake of saying stuff. Just say, I'm sorry, if you don't know what else to say. Um, so yeah, that's some cool advice for ya. Um, oh, and then they've, there's another tab that talks about the funeral home. Um, and all that jazz. Oh, clothes. Oh! Oh. I've never clicked that button before, but it just goes out. Like, can she walk her? Oh, she can totally walk around. See, I haven't had the chance to really explore, like, all the places she can go in here. She just walks around, like, it's kind of boring. Because there's nothing for you to do in here unless it's highlighted with the yellow shenanigans or the blue... Anyway, so this is the one where it is about suicide. Um, so I was hoping you wouldn't have to confront this situation. Um, it's never easy. Rose and Daughters has been asked to prepare the body of a young man who took his own life. He had a well prepared and asked for cremation, but the family has demanded a traditional burial instead. Unfortunately, he didn't make anyone his power of attorney, didn't have any witnesses sign his living will or his advance directive regarding these wishes, so his family is legally in the right to do whatever they want with his body. It's unfortunate, but we have to do as his family wishes. So Matthew has graciously offered to take this if you're uncomfortable with it, and we have a second body prepared for you um, if you're not cool with it. So, yeah, so... This is from the customer who said disregard her son's will. Um, it's he wasn't thinking right, and we're gonna do the open casket funeral instead of cremation. Um, so I am comfortable with this, is what I'm gonna say. And here is the body, and it doesn't show anything graphic. It's just like that old dude before, except he doesn't have any facial hair. Um, so we're just going to wash them up, clean them up over here, there we go, and now we're just going to shave, which I find strange, you're going to be putting clothes on them, why would you, I mean I guess if you're having to open them up, you would shave them, but like, I don't know. I just feel like you would only shave the facial hair because the rest wouldn't really matter. But I guess it does. I don't know. I'm not a mortician. All right, so there we go. Fill the mouth up with cotton balls. Sew it together. And then put some lotion on them. Which the lotion makes a weird noise a little strange um then we're gonna open them up stick some tubing inside stick this thing in there put the tubing back on it there we go activate the machine and Yeah. 
get all the blood out and get the embalming fluid in. Here are some of his loved ones. So they just talk about how they can't believe it, you can't blame yourself, and how it hurts, and yada yada. Um, wah, wah. So these guys are talking about how they're surprised it's public. Normally in these situations, it's more of a private affair. Um, just everyone wishes they had done something differently because like, this didn't have to happen, essentially, so. All right, so off to the next one. March, here we are. On March. All right, so here is the next person. So, oh, okay, so these guys are the ones purchasing it, and they're just doing a welcome email. Um, wait, okay, so I'm curious. Um, number of changes to come, we'll send a memo regarding the specifics, and glad to be leading the way for the team. I am invited to something... Um, different funeral traditions, and then, alright, so he's saying, what the hell, can I first just say, this is BS, knowing how these corporates run, I wouldn't be surprised if they're monitoring, monitoring our emails now, no, okay, I don't really believe that, I'm just upset, I get that Amy didn't have much of a choice, um, and they just swooped in and now we have to deal with their BS practices. They're colder than the corpse I picked up from the morgue this morning. Who changes this much for fu- or who charges this much for funerals? It feels dirty and exploitive. Um, so let's grab a drink after work. I need to blow some steam off. So before, let's see. Oh yeah, they don't, because it's more expensive, they're not putting the prices on the page. That's funny. And then there's payment plans available and blah, 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 blah. All right. There's that. Did he say what their prices would be? He did not say. Okay. So cremation below are the details for the next client. Ensure you follow the requested specifications exactly after you're done. I will review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. So we're taking care of Jocelyn's cremation. It was a bike accident. Um, it was more than I was expecting. I know she wanted to be cremated and to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her like that after what happened. So it sounds like she's not cute anymore. Uh, always wear a helmet, folks. Always wear your safety gear. Uh, it's important. Um, luckily when you're, um, at the bodies, you don't see anything too gruesome. So, I kind of wish there were more, like, gruesome stuff in there because I just find it fascinating. Those are things that I like. Um, uh, gory details like that. Like, I love zombies so much. So it'd be cool if they had some more of the realistic gore that is part of the funeral home 
thing. Um, like, since she was in a horrific bike accident, it would be interesting to see some of those bike accident details in her body. Ooh, I'm clicking on the bone fragment. There we go. Alright. So there we go. She is crumbled up. Alright. I'm clicking on this. I guess I have to do the watch first. That's weird. Anyway. There we go. And now we are going to the funeral. Alright. So I wonder if now that it has been taken over, we'll like, go through the door, girl. I wonder if anything is going to change as far as like what's in here. Alright, wore her helmet, signal, do spike lanes. Drivers just need to pay attention. What um Okay, so yeah. It's kind of sad that this happened because it sounds like she was wearing her helmet and being careful and all that. So drivers out there, pay attention to bicycles as well as motorcycles and scooters. Like I ride a scooter, so please be careful. Although when I am riding or even when I'm driving, driving, I try to be the only car around. I don't try to like stick to groups of cars. I try to just do my own thing but you know sometimes when there's traffic you can't help it so all right oh so I'm gonna go pay my respects and then we're gonna head on out to the next person here we go March 24th so let's see what has changed with the old, or rather with the new people. All right. Here are the new rules and code of conduct. Um, first and foremost, there is a required uniform and strict dress code. Second. Um, no tattoos are to be visible. If you have tattoos, like ensure that they're covered. Um, when speaking with customers and clients, consider the opportunity to upsell. Always encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase the higher package. We find that encouraging loved ones to think of the comfort and style of the deceased as an experience with no price limit on it. Additionally, food is no longer allowed to be brought in. Instead, we um, encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food package. Our partner catering concepts provides high quality food that will be delivered weekly from their factory and can easily be defrosted the morning of the funeral. I expect all of the above changes to be instituted effective immediately to ensure a smooth transition. So, so I've reviewed your request on behalf of a potential family inquiring if we will perform green burials. I should have informed you of this in the beginning, but we do not perform green funerals as they are not cost effective. Um, so it's weird that they're talking about her girlfriend's idea of the green funeral. So I wonder if that comes to play in the end game. We do not wish to lose a potential customer though. So do your hardest to convince them that requesting green burials um, to choose the traditional package complete with embalming caskets and vaults instead. Um, cool. Dr. Zayas, I just saw a video of a gorilla walking on its hind legs like a human being. Oh my god! <laughs> so, a nice little Planet of the Apes reference. Um, so yeah, there's that email as well. So, we are going to dispose of unclaimed bodies. This is an important revenue stream. Um, so the unclaimed will no special prep needed for the so cremation is what we do with the unclaimed bodies it looks like that's kind of neat so 
We'll prepare his body, remove any valuables, but there aren't any. So we'll place the identification tag and now he's ready to be cremated. And there he goes into the old thingamaroo. I wonder if there are like any secrets to discover in the game. That would be pretty cool because I haven't been really trying to discover any secrets or anything. I've just been point A, point B, get my task done. Um, so here we go. Placing an urn. Doing the bones. Doing the bones. La da. No, no, no. La. There it goes. Sometimes I have a hard time clicking on them. Alright. So I think the next body that I do is going to be the last one, and then we're going to come to the end of this video. Um, yeah, so he's literally got no one, nothing going on. That is the end of that. So we're just going to pay our respects. And, you know, RIP, dude. April 9th. Alright, so she's just cleaning some stuff. Oh, that's weird that there's a jar right there. Okay. Alright, so... We're thrilled to announce that the... We just got a contract with the hospital, allowing us to access all the cadavers that come in through their pediatric and maternity wards. Um, we're excited for this opportunity, which intakes over 100,000 patients and receives 15 million in funding and donations annually. This will no doubt be a boon for our future. Um. Oh, he's put in his two weeks. Oh. Okay, well, so, oh, and she's like the coolest person ever. She totally loves Ava's Possession. Oh, that's a cool movie. If you haven't seen Ava's Possession, it's on Netflix. Go watch it. It's very good. Um, so I like how they reference that. I feel like it came out recently too. So, I mean, this game did just come out, but that's kind of neat. Um, all right, so her name is Lily. She's super death positive and isn't freaked out by my work and isn't too into it like the last dude I saw. Um, I just really like spending time around her, so that's exciting because I thought she was my girlfriend, but I guess she's not my girlfriend. Maybe she's like my best friend. I don't know. Uh, so that's that. And... So here we go for our next one. I see you were not able to convince the Dimka family to take a standard funeral. Um, I had to contact them myself in order to not lose this sale. Please read the enclosed emails for a lesson on how to properly upsell. Oh my god. I deal with upselling in my real life. I don't need to deal with it in video games. Gosh. It's too real video game. It's too real. What? What is this? Oh, register a business. Huh. So, uh, maybe it looks like she could be working to open her own business. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Um. We'll take the traditional funeral package. Thank you for your time considering us in this hard time. Um, okay, so let's start at the bottom of the email chain. Regarding the last time we spoke, my daughters and I would still prefer to host a home funeral ourselves and keep my wife here until she's ready to be buried. I just want to make sure she's taken care of. Her heart attack was so sudden. We don't know what to do. We just want to make sure she has the proper send off. Um, I understand your desire to keep your wife at home, but I assure you the best way to honor your wife is to through a traditional funeral package. I promise your wife's funeral with us will be beautiful, intimate, blah, 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 
blah, blah, blah. Standard and bombing will allow everyone to feed your wife, ensuring that everyone can see her one final time before, as she was, beautiful, peaceful, courageous. Let us take care of the food with our prepared food service, um, which will ensure you don't have a single thing to worry about on this day. You and your daughters are going through a hard time right now. Let us here at Rose and Daughters make this difficult time a little easier for you. And then he's like, fine, whatever. And then... And he keeps calling me a Charlotte, which um, I know at the beginning the character was like, you know, I prefer to go by Charlie. Um, and so the previous owner, Amy, called her Charlie. So here's this lady. Here we go. Doing the thing. So now we get to the washer. I like. Oh my god. Like, what was that about? <laughs> so, I like her um, facial style. Like, it's very simple. And her eyeliner, her eyelashes are gorge. I love a good eyeliner. <laughs> I just wish my eyeliner could be that sharp. I mean. And, oh yeah blue part. I wonder if we could do things out of order. So I'll have to try that next time. If it allows for that. And get the tubing in there. Get this thing in there. Get a little more tubing. Can I click on that side? No. There we go. Start the machine. Here we go. Getting her embalmed. I feel like sound effects really help. You know, when you're playing video games, like, don't be shy. Make sound effects. It makes it more fun, right? <laughs> okay, so we've just got two more left. And I wish they changed this up some as well. Like, um, if they made it more of a mini game, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, instead of like the same exact ones each time, maybe vary up which direction you're going to go in or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Alright. So talking to these people. She would have hated this. I don't know, they must have had their reasons. Oh, what do you think of the trailer I sent you? What? I've heard the show is good. I saw that one video of the one kid actor doing karaoke. Random, I wonder what show they were talking about. Makes me curious. Do you think we did the right thing? I feel bad not doing what mom asked for. I know, honey, but Chad, that Chad guy seems right. We don't want to dishonor her memory by letting her rot. Yeah, I just want to know that, like, I want her to know that I loved her, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to miss her. Me too. Go talk to these people. So, yeah, these guys kind of aren't happy um, with the... Where is she going? Oh, I guess I clicked over there accidentally. Um, so now we're going to talk to these people. Alright, now we're going to go pay our respects and see what's next. Here we go. Off to the next area or the next day or whatever. August 30th, the day before my birthday. Oh, it's so early. Oh, what is this? This is nice. Alright, what's going on? 
Charlie, dear, I'm so proud of you. I knew there was something special in you, and I hired you at Rosen Daughters. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. Um, yes. So you'll never believe what new job I am working now. Open this email to find out. When I first became a hearse driver, I told my most important job wasn't steering, it was sympathizing, and I disagree. Thankfully, um, that I concentrated on my driving skills, because now... He works as a bus driver, school bus driver. Oh, that's kind of neat. So, can you believe it? Um, for some reason I was worried you'd think less of me. I don't know why. Blah, blah, blah. Congrats on your new business. So, Magnolia Forest is what it's called. Natural Burial Park. That's kind of neat that they have that. And they've got home funerals. So, things like that last person, they wanted to do a home funeral, but they didn't have... Um, that option and now it has that infants are buried at no charge we can provide a 3x3 three three plot and help opening and closing the grave cool so yeah her um, deal seems I don't know more friendly less you know the corporate aspect where it's about money 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 and more personable i guess so i know it's been a rough year for you seriously i think our wine intake saw a billion percent increase but you've stuck through it like a champ and you deserve to be your own boss good for you blah 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 all right so dear charlie today's the day already isn't it i can't believe how quickly this has come up thank you for understanding and for your work you've made today easier already see you at one eileen all right so here we go i wonder if this is like end game or what is the deal so i guess these are plots where people are going to be let's talk to this person this hurts. I thought it'd be easier, but it's not. It hurts so much, but thank you for helping me give her the funeral she always wanted. Anyway, I think we're ready to get started now. Um. Yeah. So they're doing the natural burial where you become one with the soil and provide nutrients and, um, I guess that's the end so definitely you know go read go read those emails it's kind of neat but I like how it transitioned from small business to corporate to um, you know you doing your own thing and realizing that you know corporate kind of sucks so having those small businesses Getting to know the community and see what the community wants and what people actually want is so important. Um, yeah. Aw, the pets of the people who made this. One of them is named Future. I'm like, that's a cool... That's a cool name. Um, so, yeah. Canada. Good job, Canada. I don't know why we're going through these credits. The music is kind of cool. Oh, those people. Thank you for playing. So it's kind of funny that suicide didn't come back up again. Um, I wonder what happens when you hit continue. Like, what? Is it just that last day again? Yeah, because this is this is the same thing. The same thing. All right, so, um, yeah, that was kind of like a neat game. Hey, look at my face real big. <laughs> um, I overall liked the tone of it, how simplistic it was. So if you like point and click adventures, I think you would like this game. There's also a lot of reading and backstory in there in those emails. So definitely, I know I've said this a million times, more than Trump talked about Hillary Clinton's emails, go read the emails. <laughs> <laughs> political humor I don't politic much so anyway I overall think I like this game I'm gonna go back and do a read through and make sure I read all of those emails myself um, because the story aspect of this game is the important part 
Um, the way that you dealt with handling bodies, I liked how you had the variation of the natural to embalming to cremation um, and all that jazz, but at the same time, it was very point A, point B, next. Um, so I wish there were more variety, like when you go through um, the bodies, like if the, you know, how you had to massage it, I wish, you know, those lines changed so it wasn't predictable every time. Um, and I wish that there was more interaction with the people at the funeral home. Um, like maybe they would say different things where you can, you know, interact conversation, like say your own piece to them based off of something that you learned from the funeral home email that you got, like the daily email you got from that, the newsletter deal. Like if you could incorporate some of the things they said in the email into your conversation with the um, customers. So you know how it was like, don't say this, don't say that. And then you go talk to these people and you're given multiple choice of things to say. And that could impact how their reactions of how your service was. Um, but overall, like it's a simple game. Do I feel it's a little bit 99 worth it? Like, yeah, maybe not. Um, 14.99 worth it? Eh, probably not either. Like maybe, maybe ten dollars. I would feel okay with this because it was short. Like we went through all that together just now. I don't. I wasn't timing myself, so I don't know how long it took. Um, but I wish there were more to it. A little bit more variety. I did like how there were the different styles of, like, putting them in a thing and then getting them out the door but I just wanted more. Um, it was very simple and short and, you know, definitely got to go back through and read the emails because I'll definitely appreciate it more after the fact that I read those. Um, but overall, I think it was an okay game. So if any of you guys have played this, let me know your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, I definitely did like how they talked about the green funerals because I think as we go into the future you know we're running out of all this land to bury people like cemeteries take up so much space um I think you know if you become part of the earth again through the you know natural process of decomposition and you become a tree or whatever like I think that's good because you're putting something back out into the atmosphere that way where you know pollution is something we deal with and if we have more trees in the world like because they get rid of those carbon emissions and put oxygen back out into the environment I think that's a good thing and I like that direction so I liked how it was very positive on the green burials and also I feel like Cremation is pretty okay too because you can take that person's ashes and hold on to them or scatter them in special places for you and you can take those with you and have a special private moment of releasing them into like the world or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think just burying them in the ground and just having them be there forever and a place where they're taking up space, I don't think it's going to work for us forever and I think we're going to have to find a different solution eventually. Not right now and probably not anytime in the near future, but eventually like, we're going to have to think about that. So I think those other green burials are going to be more better, more better for us in the future. So. That's my two cents on that part of it. Um, yeah. And it gets you thinking, like, because a lot of young people don't think about this sort of stuff. We don't think about death. We don't think about, you know, the steps we need to take to make sure we're getting buried properly, like we saw with that one kid um, where he wanted cremation, but his family wanted burial and open casket funeral. So we don't think about the steps that we have to take for that through the legal approach, you can't just write down a will and there we go. It has to go through a legal process of having witnesses and um, notarized and all that junk, probably. I don't know, I don't have the, any of that sort of, sort of stuff set up myself, but it did get me thinking about it like, 
I don't know what I want my body to do after I'm no longer in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it more and figure that out though. Anyway, I've talked long enough because um, this game just raises questions in your brain and it's interesting. It's very interesting, I'll say that. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious to know what you have to say about it. Do you have an idea of how you want to be buried or if you want to be cremated? How do you want your body handled after you're no longer in it? Please let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about what you want to happen to you. I don't know what I want to happen to me. So we'll think about it. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!